Okay, what is going on guys? Oink here, and uh, I'm coming f live from within Magic 2012. Uh, for those of you that don't know, this is a uh, video game version of a, of a trading card game. And uh, I actually used to play this game as a youngin. As a youngin. And uh, yeah, sure, let's go for it. Uh, so no, it's a pretty cool game, and uh, yeah, I mean, um, this is my, this is uh, just some online play. This is my first game online. I've just been playing single player f from before then, from before here, to uh, get cards and stuff, and you know, up my deck. So hopefully, I can do all right here. That's a reasonable card, I guess. Um. But yeah, I mean, we'll see how it goes. I mean, this is my first game, so can't promise anything. I'll we'll go with this one. Now I could have gained a health in there if I played that one first, waited a turn, and then played that one. But online play is all about how fast you are. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos on. Uh, weapons of mass gaming who basically just do magic videos and it's all about speed it's all about you know getting big cards out getting any cards out basically just so you can start attacking early um, and that really gives you an advantage in the game obviously you need uh, you need to draw some good cards and sometimes well, at least in single player I get horribly unlucky and he has just killed me I don't know Dunth not killed me. Done three damage to me. In effect. Uh, okay, let's bring out one of them. Target player sacrifice it. Okay. Well, we need to get some health back, so I should probably play that. And then I can play that. But I shall play that next round. Attack with this one. Play in the second main phase. There we go. Now this creature here, his ability um, makes it so that he gets a uh, one on his attack and one on his defense. I don't know what they call it, like power and strength or something stupid like that. Uh, oh god, no, that's not nice. That is not nice, he just killed him. Well, what he did do before he just got killed was uh, his his power and toughness was equal to however many artifacts you have. And the deck that I'm playing is an artifact deck, purely. In fact, I'm going to be really cheeky here. <laughs> this card that I just played brings back a, a creature from your graveyard. So I'll be having him back. And he comes back into my hand now, and uh, I can attack with this bloke. Um, I'm playing a, a, it's a black, blue, and white deck, and it's based on artifact creatures. Um, the problem I've been finding a, in a lot of, you know, when I'm playing on s single player, is that the opponent gets like a load of creatures out before me, because it's quite an expensive deck. And um, what I mean by expensive is the creatures and the abilities cost quite a lot of mana. Um, and you can only put one out each turn, which is annoying, but... You cheeky bugger. Okay, whatever. Well, I got this dude back, at least. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, Alright, cool. And we'll play these two in the uh, second phase here, just in case he's got any spells up his sleeve. That card there that I've just put down, uh, he's a beast. He, um, excellent. Um, yeah, what, what this guy does here that I'm selecting now, is if I tap him, um, which basically makes him inactive, all of my other artifacts get one strength and defense, or whatever it's called. So, 
including himself. So there'll be a 5-5, five, five, a 3-3, three, three, and a 3-4 there. And you can do that every turn, which is really, really destructive sometimes. Um, and this is the guy that I've got who has the same pat toughness as however many artifacts. So uh, it's going quite nicely here. That's that. Okay. Okay, and that one's a kicker. Well, not a kicker, but you can pay extra for that chap. Oh, yes. Here we go. This is more like it. Okay. Um, I should play this. Okay. I got it. Attack with this guy. I could have played this out better, but... Oh well. What this card does, which is well sick, is... In fact, I didn't even need to attack that turn, to be honest. That was unnecessary. Because um, what this card does is it reduces the opponent's health to 10 when it comes out. Which is pretty beast, to be quite honest. Um, I don't know what he's doing. Deciding to block? Eh, he's going to let it through, apparently. And then I can bring him out, and what that does now, other than being 5-5 five, five and flying, um, is reduce his life total to 10, or increase it. So if he was below 10, it would actually increase it to 10. Ah, shit. No, that's fine, okay. Um, but yeah. So, that's cool. Huh. Not sure what just happened there. That guy somehow got to a 7-7. Seven, seven. Don't know why that happened. Maybe there's some kind of glitch there. That's really strange. Oh well, I'm not going to complain. Okay. Not bad, 5-4. Okay, well this is uh, going quite nicely. Here. And let's attack with this baby. And... I don't want to go all out attack here because if I do, I'm going to attack with that guy. Uh, if I do go all out attack, then I won't have any defenses left. And if he launches an attack on me, obviously I've got more health right now, which puts me in a much favourable, much more favourable position. But um, one thing to learn in Magic is, you know, there are some game, game, game winning cards out there, and you just don't know what he's going to play, um, and that's doing 6 damage, so he's probably going to kill this guy if he's smart, let's see yeah, there we go um, no, I should cancel that uh, let's see now, if he attacks nope, does not attack which is kind of stupid, because he's on 4 health he might as well, oh, he is going to attack, okay well, I'll make him sacrifice a creature, <laughs> just because I can. Okay, are we done? So this card basically means that one of his attacking creatures has to be sacrificed. Now, obviously, he's not going to sacrifice the 5-4, but he'll probably do the 2-2 two -two there. Uh, if that is indeed a 2-2, two -two, I can't quite see it's behind the card. Um, but it's irrelevant because I've got this 8-8, eight -eight, he's got 4 health. Um, I can just attack with everything. You, what? Now I'm confused. He did he sacrifice two creatures or something? Oh, I really don't know what happened there. Um, but he has no creatures, so and he's all tapped out as well so he's got no mana cost so even if he did have a card which he doesn't he doesn't have any cards <laughs> he uh, he couldn't block so he, he was doubly screwed there and uh, there it is that's game uh, only 10 minutes long these games can be a bit longer so that was pretty fortunate i managed to uh, sweep up there i'm guessing he didn't pick up too many good cards in his hand which is unfortunate for him <laughs> i know exactly how you feel how he feels and um but no, that, that went all right, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll probably be trying to do some more magic videos in the future, so be sure to um, leave some feedback uh, if you like this kind of thing, or if you know if you know about magic and you want to see some more, or if you didn't know about magic and if you enjoyed it anyway, that would be good to hear from you guys. Um, like I said, other than that, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.